Let's talk about the hardest puzzle in marketing. If you can solve this puzzle, if you get good at solving this puzzle, it will make you rich. <laughs> Basically, if, if you get good at solving this one hardest puzzle in marketing, you are able to create essentially unlimited opportunity for yourself. You're able to write your own ticket. If you want to build your own business, you're able to build your own business with this one puzzle solved. If you want to work with clients, clients are going to love you. They're going to line up at your door. So what is it? What is this one puzzle that can make you rich? Let's dive into it in today's episode. These are the proven direct response, marketing, copywriting, and entrepreneurship success strategies you can use today to write your own ticket and create the life you want. I am Roy Furr, and this is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Now, here's today's breakthrough. Before I talk to you about the hardest puzzle in marketing, uh, I want to remind you that, as always, today's episode is sponsored by me. <laughs> uh, specifically today, I want you to check out my Welcome Mat Funnels to Get New Customers course. The link is in the description. It's about a specific type of funnel that's specifically, that specific, specific, and it's designed to get new customers from cold traffic. It's, it is designed to bring new customers in the door and get them spending their first dollar with you. It's part of the BTMS Insiders training library, which is like Netflix for copywriting and marketing training. So you pay one low fee and you get access, unlimited streaming access to everything in the catalog, including welcome at funnels to get new customers. Check the link in the description. So what is this hardest puzzle to solve in marketing that if you that if you solve it you will get rich well uh, here here's the specific language that i am using build a customer list at break even or better at scale build a customer list at break even or better at scale so we're going to dive into that a little bit those specific segments of the sentence I'm saying specific a lot today. <laughs> Build a customer list. What is a customer? A customer list, it is the people who have purchased from you, the people who have bought from you, it, the people who have had a first transaction with you. Now, of course, additional transactions are great, but the whole point here is once someone has spent their first dollar with your business, they are far more likely to spend more money with you. So. Building a customer list is all about getting people to spend money with you for the very first time. And so it's it's all about that process of acquiring customers, right? So customer acquisition is is critically important in a business. Uh, sometimes it happens almost accidentally or organically or kind of in a way that's not really controlled. This is about intention. So it's about building out marketing and selling systems that bring new customers in the door. Having intentional, repeatable approaches that bring new customers in the door and get them to spend their first dollar with you. Okay, so that's build a customer list. At break even or better. What do I mean by that? Basically, I mean that you are not losing money on the process of acquiring customers. Yes. If you have a bunch of investor capital or if you're flush with cash, you are able to lose money to acquire customers. And there are plenty of companies that have scaled up by losing money uh, to, to acquire customers. That said, most entrepreneurs don't have that luxury. We have to bootstrap it. We have to figure out how to spend a dollar on traffic, on uh, getting our message in front of customers on reaching out to customers and have that bring back a new customer who spends at least a dollar with us, right? So breaking even or better. Now, there are some important distinctions here. What is your timeline, right? So is your timeline that it has to be break even or better within 24 hours? <laughs> Does it have to be break even or better within seven days? For a lot of us, it is it has to be break even or better before the credit card bill is due, right? Or if we're able to finance it out 30, 60, 90 days, something like that, there can be an advantage to that if you have good marketing systems that are designed to convert more leads or to ascend 
uh, ascend customers who have made their first purchase to higher level purchases within the first 30, 60, 90 days, and you can do that reliably, maybe you can go negative for 60 days and be happy um, and, and consider it break even or better. So you do have to consider the timeline for this. In general, what I'm, you know, my my particular timeline that I like to look at is, um, you know, if you are buying, if you're buying traffic, if you're buying paid media on credit, on a credit card, and your intention is to pay off your credit card every month, which I highly recommend, uh, then the goal is to be able to spend money on traffic today. And before the credit card bill is due, before your payment is due, you have made that money back and then some. And typically that is going to be like you can you can um, uh, you can accelerate that. You can do that better. You can you can uh, do things that allow you to make the math work in your favor by increasing things like your cart value. Uh, which is a term from funnel-based internet marketing, where a funnel is a sequence of offers, right, that are delivered one after another based on people converting to uh, to the previous offer. So you may have the main offer that uh, that you put in front of them, and if they buy that, you offer an upsell. And they, if they buy that, then you may have an additional upsell. If they don't buy the first upsell, you may have a downsell. If they don't buy the second upsell, you may have a downsell from there. But the goal is to, for the prospects who are most interested in buying the most things, who are most engaged with your offers, to essentially maximize the amount of money that they're going to spend with you immediately. Now, that's, of course, one side of it. You want to make sure that you're delivering a ton of value in there too. But the uh, but in in terms of just this break even or better idea, where our focus is on the revenue generated. So how can you maximize the the revenue generated on the initial transaction? So when somebody buys from you on day zero, they are spending the most amount of money possible with you. Then there's the, the, the lifetime value factor, which is how much more money is that person going to spend with you throughout the course of their relationship with you? And I spoke earlier to having marketing systems in place that convert new leads and new customers to higher level transactions over the course of the first 30, 60, 90 days. And so you can maximize lifetime value by having additional offers that go out, not just in that initial transaction, that initial um, session going through a funnel, but the lifetime value being the additional revenue generated over the course of those first few weeks and over the course of the lifetime of the customer relationship. But when we're talking break even or better, uh, if if you're thinking, okay, I want to be able to acquire a customer, I want to spend a dollar, get a dollar back, maybe your uh, your initial transaction, the cart value of the acquisition funnel that you have, maybe that gets 75 cents, 80 cents, 90 cents, and you need to make it up with additional offers made over the course of the, the next 30 days or before the credit card bill is due, right? So that's break even or better. And then at scale, um, going, going back to that, that list, that hardest puzzle is to build a customer list at break even or better at scale. So at scale is something that's repeatable, it's intentional, it, uh, it involves volume and growth. So there, it can be pretty easy to build a small business that's kind of accidental. People wander in through the door, either literally, physically, or metaphorically, digitally coming into your website, whatever. It can be fairly easy to build a business that way, but can you intentionally go out and put your message in front of new customers at volume, at scale, uh, in, in a way that allows you to grow your business there? And so much of this does come down to how good is your conversion system of that uh, of that initial transaction. And actually, it, there's the tactical triangle, which is taught by Perry Marshall, and I often repeat it, that in order to be successful at online marketing, nailing the traffic, the conversion, and the economics is essential. And, and this all involves, number one, you have to have a good offer that appeals to new customers. So many times we are we can be very effective as a business owner appealing to our past customers, and it can be easy to make some 
revenue that way, but it's hard to scale that way. And so you have to intentionally create offers that are designed to appeal to new customers looking to spend their first dollar with you. And so having a good offer, having a good conversion system in place, so good copy, the whole funnel thing that we talked about, consecutive offers, and being able to generate good traffic. Um, and it, my recommendation on that front is to get good at a minimum of one traffic channel. Just start with one, right? And today, these days, one of the most effective ways that you can build out your traffic strategy is to get engagement with a first ad, a first piece of content, a first something that the traffic platform is then able to identify, okay, these are the people who are engaged with this person's advertising, and then stick remarketing on top of that. So they engage with the first thing, how can you then uh, maximize the engagement with that person afterwards and drive them into the the conversion system that you've built? And so, you know, going back to this hardest puzzle in marketing, uh, if you are able to solve this, you know, for your business, you can certainly get rich. For other businesses, they will line up to be your client. And for any new business or really any new launch, any new offer, this does need to be your number one focus. Um, and and if you are able to solve this puzzle, if you're able to figure it out, it does make everything else about your business much easier. And if you're not happy in business, it's probably because you haven't solved this puzzle. Whether we're talking about how you're going to get new clients for some client business, or whether you're talking about scaling some kind of e-commerce business, or even offline business where you're actually driving people into stores. If you can figure this out, if you can solve this puzzle, if you are able to build a customer list at break even or better at scale, you can grow your business and you will be ecstatic with your business. And specific to this, again, that welcome at funnels to get new customers training at BTMS Insiders would be a great thing to check out. The link is in the description. Again, you pay one low monthly fee. It's like Netflix for, for copywriting and marketing training. You pay one low fee, you get instant access to my entire catalog of training, which actually covers so many more topics. Uh, but this welcome at funnels to get new customers would be a great place to start if this topic is interesting to you. I'm Roy Fur. This is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Hey, I'm always aiming to increase your marketing genius one episode at a time. And if you focus on solving this puzzle, I believe that you will skyrocket your marketing genius. So I think that I've done that here and I'll catch you again in the next episode. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you once again for tuning in to this daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Remember, check out the links with this episode for even more value. Now make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and engage in every way you can to keep this show going and growing and delivering daily value to you. I'll catch you soon for your next big breakthrough.